Okay, now this is a film I've been wanting to see for a little while now. This is a May new release, As They Made Us, directed by Mayim Bialik. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. Recently divorced Abigail arrives in the midst of her fam uh, of her parents' kaya We are going to have a day, aren't we? Uh, recently divorced Abigail arrives right in the midst of her parents' chaotic antics. After a lifetime of dysfunctional hilarity, the family, accompanied by an estranged brother, played by Simon Helmberg, find it within themselves to embrace one final goodbye. This is all about her father who is going just out. He is not in the best of uh, health. His health is deteriorating, and you're basically seeing this family try to come back together and heal a little bit due, due to this tra tragedy, because during tragedy, you need family. As They Made Us is an emotional film, but also it's a really good comedy as well. A great dramedy that has good tonal balances every once in a while. Some moments that'll make you laugh out loud. Parts, if you're an emotional person, will make you a little bit more emotional, and you'll actually get to feel for the characters due to the acting job, particularly uh, by Diana Agron. This is a really good actress, and Simon Helmberg as Nathan is really good as well. Candace Burke and Dustin Hoffman. You do not get to see Maya Bialik in this film because she is only the director, I believe. I believe she's only the director, or did she co-write this? Uh, so she wrote this and directed this, so I'm giving her more credit. This is a really good film. I want you to check this film out. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's available to rent right now. I believe there's, if there's not already a DVD or a Blu-ray, you can definitely rent this right now on Amazon Prime, Voodoo, iTunes, Google Play, wherever you rent your movies legally. As They Made Us is a really, really good film. I'm going to recommend to you. I'm going to give As They Made Us an A-. We're on a roll here, people. How will my next film round out? Well, we'll find that out in just a little bit. But I said in my last video that this is going to be a very, very busy week. So we're going to get into that right now. And this weekend, there's a lot of stuff coming out. And we're going to go over that in this video. So tomorrow, we have the brand new HBO Max original film, the reboot slash remake of Father of the Bride. Then we also have, on the 17th, we have a lot of stuff. We have Cha-Cha Real Smooth on Apple TV+, Plus. That, uh, that new film with, I just forgot her name, Dakota Johnson. My Fake Boyfriend on Amazon Prime. Jerry and Marge Go Large. I just saw that that had Brian Cranston and Annette Bening, so I will be watching that one. Uh, we also have... The Good Neighbor, which I will be doing a review of up next, because I did get sent a screener for that one. We also have uh, Brian and Charles. I'm not counting that one, because I will not be able to see that one until it comes to uh, to rent. Then we also have Good Luck, Leo Grande, which is the new Hulu sex comedy film. Uh, Lightyear and Spiderhead. Is there anything else I'm missing? Yes, there is a Spanish film that I will probably get to called Official Competition. Might just pop that one on tonight uh, because it is about 2 hours and 54 minutes. Just give that a quick little watch uh, and give you my review on uh, and give you my review on Friday for that one. You also do have a couple films, one film especially that I can think of it coming to uh, VOD called The Lost Girls. I know nothing about that film. I am looking forward to that one. It says, Inspired by the classic tale of Peter Pan, The Lost Girls cr cr chronicles four generations of daring of darling women as they struggle in the aftermath of their adventures with Peter Pan in Neverland. Huh. Like her grandmother and her mother Jane, played by Jolie Richardson, before her, Wendy must escape Pan's hold on her and the promise he desperately wants to keep. And the promise he desperately wants her to keep. Just as her daughter, Barry, comes into Peter's orbit, Wendy must fight to save her relationship with her daughter while... Wow. While... Hmm. Sorry, I'm just continuing to read this. While reconciling her legacy. That's going to be a very interesting film. I will probably rent that one. I'm not going to lie to you. The next week is a bigger week as well. There's not a whole lot releasing, 
next week in regards to, like, big releases, like, huge, huge, huge releases, but there is uh, Love and Gelato on Netflix, a new romance film, which I will be watching and reviewing for you guys. Then we also have um, The Black Phone and Elvis in theaters. I will not be able to see those until they come to streaming or so I can rent them. You have a new romance film called Press Play, which I will be watching. Uh, you also have Apples, which is a film that I did get a screener for. Man vs. B on Netflix, that, that's a new season. Peacock will be getting Downton Abbey, A New Era. The Man from Toronto is also going to be available on that date. So a bigger release week this upcoming week. So let's see if we can get into all those films. I'm not expecting to watch them all but there is one I will probably be watching on Disney+, Plus, and that film is going to be Trevor the Musical. I do need to catch up on the uh, films on there. So, there you go, everybody. Stay tuned for my next review, which is going to be for The Good Neighbor. I will see all of you guys next time.